Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Alex Techworks. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the Apple Watch Series 7, and I'm going to be running through all of my favorite things about it and some of the things that I don't quite like about it. This is going to be a long term review because I've had this for about two years now, so stick around to find out what's to come. If you like my tech reviews and tech videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and hit the like button if you like this particular video. You can also catch me over on Instagram, it's all under Alex Tech Works. Anyways, let's get into this review. Right, so let's kick things off with the form factor of the Apple Watch Series 7. It's larger always on retina display is certainly a standout feature, making it easier to read those notifications and track your activities just at a glance. It's curved edges and minimal bezels is certainly going to turn heads when using this particular watch. But like any piece of wearable tech, it's not just about the looks. The Apple Watch Series 7 is very comfortable to wear and its choice of bands allows for any personalization to meet your particular style. When it comes to usability and features, the Apple Watch Series 7 is a true all-rounder. Fitness tracking is the heart and soul of the Apple Watch Series 7 and it certainly excels in that department. The Apple Watch Series 7 can monitor your heart rate and sleep patterns, but it, its advanced features like the ECG app and the Oxygen app is like having a health companion on your wrist. With the latest release from Apple and OS Watch 10, it's even more capable. The redesigned home app and focus feature is managing those notifications really well and are thoughtful additions. Siri has become even more advanced and responsive, so any voice commands can be made with a breeze. With its water resistance, you can confidently track your swimming activity progress and monitor everything that you're doing whilst you're in the water. The software experience in the Apple Watch Series 7 is truly where Apple shines. Apple Watch OS X really changes the dynamic feel of the watch itself. The Series 7 is supported by OS X and they've completely redesigned and revamped the whole software system. Rather than all of the apps clumped together in a big a mass of apps that are difficult to navigate and having to zoom in and out, the apps are now larger and you just scroll up to see all of your active apps. You can of course change over to list view if that's more your style. The ability to create personalized watch faces and different widgets and complications on the device adds a level of personalization that makes the Series 7 watch truly yours. A notable addition to the Apple Watch Series 7 is its easy to use on-screen keyboard. Whilst it might not replace your smartphone or laptop for long lengthy typing sessions, it's surprisingly useful if you need to send a quick message or a quick reply to an email. Its quick path feature is an absolute game changer. All you need to do is swipe on the keyboard to enter the text and it just appears. It's a small feature that certainly improves the usability of the watch for certain communication. Let's move on and talking about battery and charging of the Apple Watch Series 7. Now this is where it certainly stands out. With a provided magnetic charger, you can get about 80% battery in about 45 minutes. So this is perfect if you need to charge quickly and get going. A full charge should easily last a full day depending on your usage and what you're doing with it. But personally, it lasts me a full day and I charge it every single night. Right, now let's talk about the drawbacks. Obviously the Apple Watch Series 7 is a previous generation model and it might not be as impressive as the latest tech that comes from the Apple gurus but it is still impressive for its age. Whilst the Apple Watch Series 7 is very durable some users have noticed that the uh, aluminium bezel that goes around their watch face itself and the glass itself has become dented or cracked. Now personally I have dented mine but I do 
have heavy wear and tear on it. Now, you might not experience that, but it's just something to be concerned and think about. One other thing to also mention is the Apple Watch is deeply tied into the iOS operating system. Now, if you've got an Android phone, unfortunately, the Apple Watch isn't gonna function with Android. You are limited with pairing it with obviously Apple devices, but if you're a fan of Apple products, then it will all work seamlessly together and function as you would like it. Right, I'm just gonna run you through my final thoughts of the Apple Watch Series 7. In conclusion, the form factor, usability, and features makes it a very versatile, wearable piece of tech. It's perfect for daily life and fitness tracking. The software and shortcuts keep on upgrading with upgraded iOS watch systems that further improve the usability of the Apple Watch. If you're looking to get into the Apple iOS ecosystem, the Apple Watch Series 7 is a perfect entry level piece of wearable tech to get into. Right, so there you have it. That's my review of the Apple Watch Series 7. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please smash that subscribe button and hit that like button. Also, what would really help me out is if you share some of your experiences with the Apple Watch Series 7, drop them down in the comment section below. But that's it from me today, and I hope I see you in the next one. Catch you later.